at one point, you know, Double Four Anime, the guy that would make Naruto videos so frequently and, and held it so close to his heart that he even entered a feud with Filthy Frank for Filthy Frank saying something negative about Naruto or something. And so Double Four just kind of went off the deep end a little bit. And I covered it. It was actually one of the first videos I made that actually kind of blew up. So if you want to go ahead and go to my oldy, old, old, old videos, like the first one I ever made, uh, go ahead and look at that. I think I have some nice little cuts of how Double kind of went uh, a, a little cray-cray. Some of you guys linked me a Filthy Frank video basically making fun of us Naruto fans and how do I know that he's making fun of us Naruto fans because I already know what the fuck he does. He's a little piece of shit and he needs to be eradicated from the internet. Like, the YouTube community needs to get together and fucking destroy Filthy Frank. Like, oh my god, you like Naruto? LOL! Double is no stranger to kind of going off the deep end and showing everybody that he's going off the deep end because I, I don't know. I guess he likes the attention. Maybe he doesn't know how to cope with it. <sighs> I don't even, I don't know what to say anymore because every fucking video I upload now is some shit about weeaboos and Naruto fans being, you know, fucking retarded. Like, fuck you, dude. Fuck this video. I don't really, this shit was dumb. Like, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't him, like, attacking anime fans like that, but it was just a dumb fucking video. <laughs> Who knows? The point is, this isn't the first time that he's doing what he's doing now. Now, this time... He's going on a downward spiral, but it's not as crazy as some people would say he was a while back, right? It's, it's basically him being very political, politically left, from what I understand, uh, making some weird videos that his fan base are not used to. And surprise, surprise, that's because his fan base is used to him being a one-trick pony about Naruto. Now, when Naruto ended, his views kind of weren't going up as much as they were. Understandable, he was the Naruto guy. He even picked up on Boruto, but Boruto is not as good as Naruto. In fact, some die-hard Naruto fans just want Boruto axe completely. So Double went ahead and he disappeared. He, he kind of fucked off for like a year, came back recently, and now his latest videos, uh, I wouldn't say they're doing the best, uh, but they're not doing the worst compared to some other channels. Until Fairy Tale: The Next Generation or Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest came out, Soul Animation had a dead channel that was struggling to get 100,000 views, let alone 1,000 views. But, you know, Fairy Tale 100 Gear Quest eventually came up, started getting picked up, started getting steam, and therefore the one trick pony known as Soul Animation picked up steam once again, as well as I, I believe he was diversifying his content somewhere there as well. So good on him. Another example. But back to Double, because he is primarily the main focus of this video for multiple reasons. Biggest one, though, is the fans being concerned for his well-being or something like that. Now, Double's been making some very weird videos lately. Uh, not, as I stated, not what his fan base is usually uh, used to and into. And in some of these videos, he's even disabled the comments. Uh, I know he's also disabled the like to dislike, which I don't know if that actually affects your interaction or whatever. Personally, I don't think it does, uh, but I do think it's a bad look just because at that point, I think Double knows that he's going to get ratio bombed or he doesn't want to see the dislikes or he doesn't want you guys seeing the dislikes because people will think that his content is bad because of that. It's also not good optics to disable that, which is why I don't disable it despite me getting dislike bombed a lot of times, only later to be proven right such as when I was dislike bomb for the game suit crap, and then I was proven right, and then people just kind of overlooked it and was like, oh, we know he disliked bombed you and we're gonna keep that, but uh, you were right, <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I'm always fucking right. Yeah, get used to it, because this is gonna be something that always happens. I'm gonna say something that's controversial. People are gonna disagree, people are gonna dislike bomb it, because guess what, most people are fucking stupid. Because I'm going to hurt their feelings by telling them the truth. And then later on, I'm going to be right. That's just how it goes. That's how it's always going to go. I'm sorry that you guys don't like the truth. But let's move on from that. Point is, 
I get ratio bombed. I don't care because I'm right and I'm always proven right later on. Um, Double gets ratio bombed and I'm guessing he can't deal with it because chances are he's not always right or he just doesn't want to be told that he's not right or maybe he just has like some self-confidence issues or something you shouldn't really care if you get a ratio bomb because as i've proven many times people are stupid uh you know so that's one advice to double that i'd give you know don't care too much about the likes or the dislikes because again if you're not saying the popular thing or if you're doing something that you're not known for if your one trick goes away and you start diversifying your content into some extreme that that people won't be able to understand then you know they'll just click dislike they won't even like the video whatever uh people are fickle people are shallow this is also another reason why i struggle to believe that people actually care about doubles well-being at this point in time i think people are so messed up these days that they only care about the show and they only care about whether or not double is going to go ahead and go off the deep end let's see some of doubles videos they're not that bad but they are kind of strange um, I know people that have gone to his Instagram and they say that it's not any better over there. Is this primarily a cause for concern in my opinion? No, not really. I think Double's just kind of fucking around trying to find his new groove. Uh, trying to see what sticks and what works. And, you know, assuming, let's assume worst case scenario, he is going through stuff. Um, not the best idea to go ahead and upload it uh, for people to see. I know it's entertaining. For people i know you might think that it's entertaining for people and that will fulfill you i know that you're pro i know maybe you're going through a situation where you think strangers on the internet can solve your problem but double ultimately as somebody that's gone through the same thing the same crap as you have no they can't they really can't don't listen to these people either because they do not have your best intentions in mind listen to someone that's gone through the same shit you have look at my history i have gone through some of the craziest shit the most scummy people of trying to get into my head from people telling me that i should leak tugs dms because it was the the right thing to do quote unquote to them later backtracking and saying i was a scumbag for doing it trust me i know about manipulation i know about people trying to bury you i know all about this double so trust me, somebody that's gone through the shit you have, somebody that constantly gets hate for being right. I mean, maybe you're not right, maybe that's a bad comparison, but you get what I mean. I'm the closest thing you're going to get to somebody that can relate to you, right? Aside from our political views, because apparently you lean on the left, and it's a little concerning for my taste, but you know what? I'm willing to overlook that. So just take my advice, chill out. If this is legit, if you're having issues, Get off the internet. Nothing good ever comes out of broadcasting your misery for shallow, fickle individuals that just live to look at your misery. Right? YouTube is not a place where you can get therapy. YouTube is entertainment. YouTube will always be primarily entertainment. There's hardly ever any real emotion on, on the YouTubes that isn't used for your own game such examples would be like mad pat you know or people like mad pat putting the dramatic music in the background trying to set the mood you know feel sorry for me in this important fucking moment and then going to broadcast in an entertainment like fashion stuff like that it's it's very disingenuous and it's obvious just pr optics bullshit um if you're really struggling for your well-being the best thing you can do is get off the internet Constru you know considering you have also made quite a few enemies in the past and you know people have quote unquote clowned on you or whatever the fuck or they think they can clown on you or whatever i'm not giving these people credit because to be frank they're quite stupid uh but i think that based on some of the things that i've seen from double he hasn't quite figured out that see 90 percent of people in the world are stupid I don't think you realize that. You don't owe your comment section shit. You don't owe these detractors, fake propagandas, fake news, gossip forms. You don't owe these motherfuckers shit. They have no control over your life. You control them. Okay? That's pretty much all the advice I can give you. That's all I can see out of this. A part of me does 
legitimately think that he's, if this is really a big deal, he's quote unquote lost because Naruto kind of disappeared and assuming he isn't full of shit and Naruto was really a big part of his life when Naruto disappeared maybe a piece of double disappeared maybe he tried to transition to the Boruto thing didn't work out wasn't feeling it the same way Naruto was lost that love lost the love of his life lost a part of himself and now now doubles lost in a sense and maybe things aren't going as groovy in the real world you know and, and that's why he's latching on to the internet. It's, uh, it's, it's a tough situation to be in. Uh, as you know, I'm one of the biggest cynics here. You know, I have to be. Um, so that's all I can say about Double. This is my observation. What the hell, more importantly, do you guys think about this whole fucking Double situation, mate? <laughs> I'm kind of curious, not gonna lie, not gonna lie, just a little bit. I know, you know, some people are gonna pretend to care, but I know some people, I know the 10% out there that aren't dumb, you know, the people that have seen my videos objectively and said, well, gosh darn it, I can't refute anything in this. And, you know, they, they know. The Sen fans, right? They know. They know what it is. They know the truth. So, let me, guys, 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 let me know what you think. Okay? And if you're a Sen hater, bring out your best propaganda BS. Try to bury me. Keep doing the same shit you keep on doing. If you're useful to me, interactions, interaction, I'll keep you around for a bit. Anyway, guys, until next time, love y'all, see y'all, uh... The Senna is out. Peace.